hello everyone welcome to my channel i hope everyone is doing well today i have an unboxing for you guys like i mentioned in my last video if you're new to my channel my name is biz or b welcome to my channel um i do luxury bag reviews and unboxing if you're into that perhaps this channel is for you please don't forget to subscribe to my channel it would really help me grow um also if there's anybody out there that has a luxury channel let me know we could all connect and grow with each other learn from each other um anyways let's go to the unboxing as you guys can see it's from louis vuitton and i was so excited to get this item you guys so i decided to get the speedy 20 in the monogram print i love this bag you guys i love it the size of the Speedy 20 in inches is 8.1 in length, 5.3 in height, and 4.7 in width. As you guys can see, it does come with the Vachetta handle, um, which I'm kind of weird about. And I know some people mentioned spray apple guard, but I haven't tried that. The bottom is flat, and it sits on the surface really well. It doesn't tilt over. Um, this is a structured bag that does not have the saggy look like the speedies i do have the speedy 25 and 30 and when comparing it i feel like this bag is much better structured um, it is soft i do want to say but it's not hard um, and i love the fact with this bag that even though it's small if it it's your basic necessity you could fit a lot of stuff inside you would be surprised how much stuff you could put and the inside here this is brand new so it has all the new stuff inside it has the strap it comes with the guitar strap i got the new one which which comes in the color beige um i love the fact that the strap is adjustable and removable as well the maximum drop of the strap is 22.1 inches to be honest with you guys i'm not really a fan of this guitar strap i don't know what louis vuitton was thinking i would hope for the price range that they would do better but it is what it is it came with the um with the bag and as you guys can see it is brand new i haven't used it whatsoever i'm doing unboxing with you guys i am selling the strap on my postmark account so for those that are interested i will link my postmark account in the description box if you guys are interested just hit me up this bag also comes with the lock and keys like all louis vuitton bags that we all know i'm sure a lot of you guys are familiar with that especially if you shop with louis vuitton before um i do want to mention that i love the fact that this bag could be worn as a top handle a crossbody, or a shoulder bag and also this bag is made in france right now february 2023 it's going for 2030 us dollar and also um i love this bag you guys i think i highly do recommend anybody that doesn't have this bag go out and get it if for whatever reason i cannot afford this bag i would really end up selling my speedy 25 or 30 for this definitely this bag is a must have for me i don't know i slept on it for so long i don't know what happened to me when it first came out i should have got it i now would have saved about two to three hundred uh, us dollar but it is what it is and the inside it has a beautiful red interior lining and it has one open compartment and also has one flat pocket as you guys can see you could put your hands in and out it's easy to get in and out the fact that it has extended um zipper which i really love to be honest you guys i hate wearing this bag as a crossbody or a shoulder bag i did try it inside the store and it was too bulky for me maybe it could be due to the guitar strap or because of my body frame i don't know you guys but i it didn't go well for me so i know if i end up wearing this bag as a crossbody or shoulder bag i would use a different strap or just use it as a top handle plus i do think it's cute as a top handle you could dress it up and do any different ways and style it different i feel like it's much easier to style with top handle plus the bag is not heavy when you wear it as a top handle and it's lightweight which is a plus next i will do what fits in my bag but before that i will compare my zippy wallet to the speedy 20 just to show you guys the size just by doing the comparison i noticed that the zippy wallet is a tad bit bigger than the speedy 20 as far as lengthwise let me show you guys one more time just to show you guys the difference in length just a tad bit but they're pretty much the same length and i will show you guys to see if it fits inside the bag which it will not because uh, the zippy wallet is a tad bit bigger than the speedy 20 so i know that wasn't gonna work but i just wanted to give you guys a comparison for those that are interested in getting this bag
Next, I will compare this bag with the mini pochette just to show you guys the size once again. As you guys can see, the Speedy 20 is much longer than the mini pochette and the mini pochette fits inside with easily with no problem i love the fact like i said that extended zipper you can see even inside that you don't have to struggle to put stuff in there and i will do what fits in my bag from here on you guys can see the space it has a lot of space and the bag is lightweight not heavy whatsoever i highly do recommend this bag for those that do not have it if you feel like the price is too much for you i would highly recommend looking in the pre-love market but this bag is a must-have I'm glad I bought it and I wish I bought it sooner like I said but it is what it is so now I have it and here fits a lot of stuff I'm just adding piling stuff just to show you guys what can fit but if it's a lot more stuff even with all the stuff inside the bag this bag is still lightweight structure it doesn't have that saggy look to it there's a lot more room inside the bag this is why i highly do recommend this bag for those that are interested if you feel like the speedy 25 or the 30 is too big for you and you want a smaller bag or you're a smaller bag type of person i would highly recommend the speedy 20. Next, I do want to do a comparison of my YSL medium size wallet with the Speedy 20 just to show you guys as far as sizing. I know this wallet is a bit bulky for a medium size, but I know different people have different preference as far as card case, uh, wallet, and accessories. So I just wanted to show you guys different options. I will try my mini pochette, my cell phone, my six key holder just to show you guys what it fits as well. So I do want to mention to you guys that I will do a bag comparison of the Speedy 20, 25, and 30. I have all three. I know, um, especially for those that are new to luxury and want to buy a first luxury bag, for those that are interested in the Speedy, I will do a comparison. Stay tuned. It might not be in the next couple videos because I will be having unboxing, um, like I mentioned on my last video. But I know um, as far for those that are looking to buy in their first bag, Speedy, the Neverfull, the Alma BB is one one of those classics so those people who are always looking for comparison which i do highly recommend getting those classic pieces but right now with the price increase i do encourage you guys to get them as soon as you can I do encourage a lot of you guys, especially if you are a first time luxury shopper or if you want to get a bag to look at reviews, wear and tear, pros and cons before buying a bag. My first Louis Vuitton bag was a Speedy 25. And as you guys can see, I did get the Speedy 20 because I am a Speedy type of girl. I do have this Speedy 30 as well in the bandolier. And here I'm just showing you guys the receipt for those that are interested. This concludes my Speedy 20 unboxing video. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys.